Peru. <risos> Peru. Uh! What's so about you? Entonces, yes. Um, what about me? I don't know. <laughs> For, uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, for example, um, I know that in Philippines, English is the second language. Yeah. How, how is how is that? Because uh, you learn it in the school, it's so important for you because sometimes I see on the internet that you guys speak English almost or probably like fluent or fluently. Yes, That's because in Latin America. <laughs> yeah, yes, because when we're when we're just a child or studying from kinder to college, then we have our English language. So we need to practice ourselves so that um, when we go out from the Philippines and go abroad and. We can try to communicate with other people, so that's that's our edge. Yes. Baya, baya. But but it's like I'm just curious. Um, it's like in your country is an obligation to know English. At yes. Yes. Si, si. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So Please. I yes, I believe that uh, as what you said, your problem is about your listening skills. So I don't have the problem with your communication. You, uh, yes, I believe that you're advanced. But I think it's, I, I think it's the opposite. <laughs> I think it's of the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Please feel, feel free to correct me. Yes, it's okay. Feel free to correct me. I, I won't get mad. So each, each mistake I might be. For each mistake I may do, correct me, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, <that's big. laughs> yes. Okay. But yes. Um, Yes, I see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, it's full of beaches. Yes. Yes. Just give me one sec to, to find a good um, proper photo. By the way, what is your profession? Ah, uh, I'm a um, audiovisual communication. I mean, I study in order to work in radio, television, theater. Oh, that's me. why your that's why your voice is very good or excellent, you know. Yes, it sounds, <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it sounds like a broadcaster. Oh, <laughs> that's because maybe I yes. study the acting. <laughs> oh, really? Are you an actor in in Peru? Not necessary, not an actor, no, 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 but I study, so I know how to be an actor, but I am not, I, I am not currently an actor. I would love, I, I would love to be an actor in the future. <laughs> yes, yes, um, I am observing that, yes, I am observing that you're trying to um, pronounce it very good, but so far I didn't try to hurt some um, mistakes with your pronunciation. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Uh, okay. okay. For example. What is this? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. Okay. What is this place? This is called Costa Verde, Green Coast. <laughs> <laughs> or this is a city. Yeah. For example, this... one 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 fact that I can share with you is that Lima is the only capital in the whole American continent that is yes. next to the ocean. Yes. I heard that Lima, Peru is very beautiful, you know, city. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what else? Um, what else? Lima... How, yeah, yeah. How, about, how about the culture in your um, group or the culture of the people living there in Peru? Uh, Yes. Yes. <laughs> we are. I, uh -huh. <laughs> I believe that we, the Latins, are kind of friendly. Yeah. yeah that's what, what, that's friendly. what everyone thinks. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We we have 
um, you know, a cultural background because we are colonized by the Spaniards for about 333 years. So, how can you imagine that? <laughs> Sometimes I met one one person from the country. Yes, yes. And I believe he, he told me that you guys, the Philippines, are like the Latins in Asia. <laughs> Yes, we That's are what the Latin. Told me. <laughs> yes, because in the Philippines there is a Latin city. It is called uh -huh. Zamboanga. So the Zamboanga. Please, wait. Can you? Okay. Sorry. So I can look for it. After. Okay. Yes, <laughs> wait. Oh, I didn't. I didn't accept you yet. So I will accept. Ah. <laughs> yes. Zam Zamboanga City. Okay, that is a city in the Philippines where it is called a Latin city. So no, dos, tres, cuatro, but, cinco. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But but why why in the present you guys um, are not so familiar with Spanish? We're not familiar with the uh, Spanish. Uh, what do you mean? Um, oh, oh, why don't why don't you have it as a second language, for example? As the English. Uh -huh, yeah. Yes, because after the Spaniards colonized us, the next is Americans. So we are colonized by the Americans for 48 years. <laughs> How about you? What other language do, uh, can you speak? Spanish. <laughs> well, Spanish is my native language, and English is like my second advanced language. I want to make you it if it's possible. And in the past, probably like seven or eight years ago, I learned or studied Portuguese from Brazil. But I was in a past level in Portuguese, same as English. But the problem is that you can see English, at least here in Latin America, you can see English and practice English every day, watching movies or TV shows or cinema or something like that. But Portuguese, no. <laughs> so my Portuguese went where they went went from advanced level to the basic level. <laughs> yes. Okay. So now what, what is the difference or the difference between Spanish speaking and Portuguese? There is not much difference actually. I tell you. I mean you can learn Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese in one month if you live here. It, 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 oh. It's so easy. And probably because like it is so easy, many Latin people don't want to waste their time learning Portuguese. Because if you not if you do not learn Portuguese or you don't speak it, you can understand like 50 or 40 percent. So yeah. it's so similar. Like for example, um, in Spanish, hola in Portuguese, hola. hola. In Portuguese, hola. Or like, yes. buenos dias, Spanish. Portuguese would be something like, bom dia. Oh, yes. How about, um, por favor? Is that Spanish or Portuguese? Spanish. Yes, that's por favor. Yeah. <laughs> How about... Yes, I know the word Happy Valentine's Day. What is Happy Valentine's Day in, in Spanish? I heard that before. Happy Valentine's Day. Feliz Dia de, de San Valentin. Yes, Feliz Dia de San Valentin. Yes, I know that before, but I forgot. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Feliz Dia de San Valentin. Sí, sí, la verdad. Each letter from our alphabet, it has the same pronunciation in each one of the four words. I mean, it's not like in, the, like in English that one word can has different kind of pronunciation depending on the context, on the time, la 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 la. la. <laughs> no, Spanish is just one root and just, just that's it. <laughs> Same as yes. Portuguese, so that's why it's so, easy. They're very funny. <laughs> yeah, many, uh, yes, many people are, are trying to um, find you as a friend. Ah, 
Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I like to be. I don't consider myself a going person, but neither an introvert. Like that. I like to be happy because I like to be positive. And I'm happy to be here because this is my first session or lesson in my class. <laughs> as a student. <laughs> yeah? Yes, yes, that's a beautiful place. It's just like, you know, it's just like a, a Great Wall of China. When when you call it once, it's just like a Great Wall of China. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is my picture. Um, Did you did you try to go here in the top of the hill, in of the mountain? I've never went to Machu Picchu, actually. Ah, oh, um, you didn't try to go. I, 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 many people ask, ask me that because they think, ah, you are Peruvian. Uh, you should know Machu Picchu. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's because uh, for, um, Machu Picchu is located in Cusco. Um, um, I would say that this place is... Um, Home, home, home. Oh, there are a lot of international enterprises here. Yeah, and oh, they have that, a, and they yes, have that, many many kind of business here. So the target, the target, the customer target in this place is not the Peruvians, are the foreigners. Yeah, right, dollars, yes. euros, and that's why for me as a Peruvian that place is that place. Yes, really, really expensive. expensive. So that place uh, was usually, or sometimes it was, um, you know, visited by most of the foreigners, right? Yes. 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 It's uh, it's an expensive place to visit. I didn't yeah. go there. Yes, <laughs> I, I would expensive. not. Yes, I would not go there. Okay, I would just choose um, a cheaper one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, probably because Cusco, I mean, all the tourists, tourists wish to go to Cusco. I mean, almost everyone. They come to Peru because they want to go to see Cusco and probably then Lima and other parts of the city. But the main goal is, hey, I need to visit Cusco. Yes. Uh, and then they probably would, would go to another countries like Bolivia, Argentina, Chile. But here in South America is Peru, Cusco, Brazil, Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Argentina, Buenos Aires, and probably um, a few places or cities in, in Colombia. Yeah, yeah. That's, cool. that's like the, the trip, in, the, the tourism yes, trip. I, yes, I think the center of South America or the Latin country is Colombia. Is it? That, the what? The what? The center of South America. Ah, no. The center what? would be probably Bolivia. They are just in the Ah, the Bolivia, yes. South America. But, but the most uh, famous places is Colombia for? Yes. <laughs> yes. Nah, we but, were here. But, but, <laughs> yes. but what happened right now? Okay. About, about what? Ah, <laughs> um, um, there's a long story that made it so great, so, but I will try to, to say it now, not as a country, but probably as a Pierre Reynato. not as a country, okay? this is important to say because some other Latin countries might get me now, that's not true, but as a Virreinato, like a sub-kingdom, Virreinato oh, like, as a sub-kingdom from Spain, and the, the first, I would say, the first sub-kingdom in South America was the Reinato del Peru. Peru was the first thing to appear. Very natural. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So, if you like history, you can start over, over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe, maybe we can talk um, next time if we have some available time or, you know, if we're not busy, so, you know, yeah. just talk because 
we have we have a contact right now. Yeah. <laughs> we were just we were just still friends here in the online world. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Joy, for this first lesson. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Yeah. Okay. Hola a todos los que están viendo este, este canal. Bueno, invitarlos a conocer Perú y conocer Filipinas. Creo yo que son dos hermosos países que tienen mucha cultura. Y ojalá que algún día tengamos más conexión entre ambos países. Sí. Yes. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank, Thank you. you so Have a nice day. Good night. So, ah, I good I will just send my link to you about my YouTube channel so that you can see this video. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you. Bye.